How's it going you wonderful people, it's Jay and in today's video I'm going to show you how to split your capture card into two screens, it's super quick, super simple, let's do it. So a question that I get a lot is how to split your capture card into two screens. So the first screen would be capturing your gameplay footage and the other screen, whether it's a TV or a monitor, would be for watching your gameplay. Now, in order to do that, you need to get something called an HDMI splitter. It's super quick and easy to set up and I'll show you how. Now the first thing you need to do is check your capture card. Some capture cards like the more expensive Elgato and Ava Media cards come with a built-in HDMI splitter. So all you need to do is hook up your HDMI cables and you're good to go. Now some of the other cards, like the more budget friendly USB ones that you may find on Amazon, these ones don't have an HDMI output, they only have one HDMI input, so you need to use a splitter. So the HDMI splitter you'll need are normally called 1-in, 2-out splitters, but you'll need to be super careful and make sure you buy the right one. So here's an Amazon listing, and you'll need to look for support for mirroring two screens at the same time, as some splitters only support one screen at a time. It's super, super important that you get those two screens, and if you need some recommendations, we have some links below. So once you get your splitter, the setup should look like this. You've got an HDMI cable from your console into the splitter, then you have an HDMI cable from the splitter to a TV or second screen. And then you have another HDMI cable from the splitter to your capture card. You also may need an optional USB cable to power the splitter. It's really, really important as if the splitter doesn't get enough power, it may not be able to capture correctly. More expensive cards like your Elgato, Ava Media and so on already have a built-in HDMI output. So you don't need a splitter, you just connect an HDMI cable from the capture card to the TV and you're good to go. So there we go, you can now watch your gameplay on a second screen or TV and capture and stream it at the same time. It is super helpful for those of you who have the more budget USB cards. And some of you have asked me as well, how can you listen to the audio? How can you put it onto your speakers or your headphones? Now I'm gonna show you some quick steps on how to do that. In OBS, all you need to do is find your game audio source, right click and then click Advanced Audio Properties. Look for a little label that says Audio Monitoring and select Monitor and Output next to your game audio. This could be your PC audio, or it could be the audio from your capture card. So what this does is it outputs your audio to a device, so maybe your headphones or your speakers, and it also outputs it directly to your stream and your recording at the same time. So if you want to select the device for monitoring, all you need to do is go to File, Settings, Audio, and look for the monitoring device. So select the device to use, so it could be your headphones or speakers, and you're good to go. So whenever you're playing music, it should come out through both the stream recording and also your headphones at the same time. And that's it. If you're looking for more videos on how to set up your stream, comparing capture cards, all sorts of Twitch tips and tricks, be sure to check out our playlist. Links are somewhere up here and below. If you guys have any questions, if you need any help, be sure to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. Also, we have a tech help channel on our Discord as well if you want to leave your questions in there. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more geeky, more gaming, more Nintendo videos, you may want to subscribe. And before you go, before you go on to the next video, be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geeky and Gaming Designs, voted for by you. Links are below. A huge thank you for your support. So yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!